Hello YouTube, my name is Tyler Rackart and I want to thank you for watching my video and I know I've been gone for a while so I'm going to cram two tutorials in one and uh, speed art soon and another tutorial so I'm getting back on the YouTube scene while I'm making my website but I've had other priorities so anyway what we're going to do is open up Adobe Photoshop and the first thing we'll be doing in our tutorial is softening up this image if we zoom in to 100% we can see that it's a larger image so I'm just going to take our crop tool and crop it down a bit so that it can fit okay and that's about good let me bring this over a little or not um, anyway so what we're going to do is hit control J so that we can duplicate the layer and we're going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and put it around 12.5% hit OK and we're just going to lower the opacity to around 50 and that's our effect it's a very simple effect it gives the photos a very soft look and uh, looks very good so this was a one simple effect and now we're going to go into a more detailed effect um, Alright, now we have this woman, uh, this picture of a woman, and I chose this woman because uh, women tend to have more strands of hair going out, and the flower looks good for this, and uh, it's just going to portray into the tutorial. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is doing an advanced crop, um, quick selection, so that we can put her on this and have it look very smooth. So basically what I'm going to be teaching you is the refine edge tool. So anyway, what we're going to do is hold down our magic wand tool and select our quick selection. I'm just going to size up my radius. This can also be done by hitting the keys appearing on your screen now. Sorry, not when you do that. Um, sorry, by hitting the keys appearing on your screen now it'll resize and uh, downsize. So what we're going to do is just create a selection of her head being careful um, it's a little bit harder with the teeth so we're I mean the hair so and the flower so I'm going to zoom in and uh, lower this brush size If it does go a little out, that's okay. Um, the refine edge tool will get rid of this. Um, so anyway, we're just going to refine this a little more. Okay, we have our hair in. We just want to get a little bit more of the hair. Um, let's go up here. And let's zoom out. And we're just going to have our quick selection tool cl um, right click and refine edge. And we're going to get this. And we're just going to view on black. Okay. And we can hit the radius up um, to about 50. Okay. And we can bring the smooth up, uh, give it a little bit of softer look. Uh, we can bring our feather up so that it kind of fades in. Uh, you don't want to give that too much. We can bring our contrast up so that it looks brighter. Um, I like to leave that towards a lower setting. Um, and we can shift our edge. And what we're going to do now is uh, hit decontaminate colors and leave that around 50%. Wrong layer selected. Alright, so what we're going to do now is um, hit the Refine Radius tool, and we're just going to downsize that a little. Um, actually, we can't. And what we're going to do is just paint around. And you might think right now that it's just painting on the background, but when we let go of the tool, it will actually refine it, and the background will disappear, as you can see with just happened and you can just keep refining this better and better to get better effects and that looks good right there um, so we're just gonna hit OK 
and as you can see uh, the background is now transparent we can turn it on or off um, now we're just going to bring in our skyline city picture and I'm just going to drag and drop that on and I'll exit out of that and I'll drag it under the R layer and we can further refine by um, using a soft edge uh, erase tool wrong layer selected there are a lot of ways to do click selection um, that look good but I think personally that the refine edge looks the best because it is a professional tool um, built by Adobe for this reason and if you didn't know this is only available in CS5 so if you have any other CS I'm sorry you are out of luck for this tutorial um, there is a refine edge in the other versions but it is not as uh, good and the it's just not as good um, as this one they added a lot of new features for this and as you can see our woman is here we can further adjust the background by adding uh, artistic filters um, I'll give you a tutorial later um, soon how to uh, create a um, painting effect that I did in my last speed art which was over a month ago but anyway this is a quick effect I know the background doesn't have a very good contrast on her um, but you know you just mess around with it get a good background and this tool works really great so that's all for this tutorial be uh, sure to watch out for my next tutorial um, on the dry dry br mixer brush tool sorry which should be coming out later today uh, yes and uh, thanks for watching. Please write, comment, subscribe. Tyler Rickart. And uh, peace out.